Thank you everyone for joining us at Griffith Observatory for a live broadcast of the major standstill Southern Moon Transit. My name is Vanessa Alarcon and I am the Astronomical Observer here at Griffith Observatory. And I'm Patrick So, the Theatre's Programs Manager. In previous broadcasts, we watched as the moon, as the major standstill moon rose over Elysian Park. Today, we're standing next to the Gottlieb Transit Corridor, about to observe another rare part of this astronomical event. This broadcast is part of a 2024-2025 campaign to follow the greatest monthly excursions of the moon. It's brought to you by Griffith Observatory, Griffith Observatory Foundation, and the City of Los Angeles Department of Recreation and Parks. As the moon travels through the midpoint of our sky at 10.22 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, it will cast moonlight on our meridian arc, illuminating inscribed markers that only see moonlight on these rare occasions. The Griffith Observatory broadcast team is prepared to share that moonlight here and now. Besides Vanessa and myself, the broadcast team includes Observatory Director Dr. Krupp, Video Production Coordinator Ella Ritz, Production Engineer Matthew Belando, Stage Manager Michael Noble, Curator David Seidel, Production Assistant Jared Head, and the Observatory Technical Support James Vega. During the June 11th broadcast, Observatory Director Dr. Krupp explained the reason we observe the moon traveling low in the sky. Now we will explain how we observe the major standstill moon here in the Gottlieb Transit Corridor. The Gottlieb Transit Corridor is used every day here at local noon to show where the sun is compared to background stars. On the ground is a 13 and a half foot tall and 18 foot long bronze faced arc that runs exactly north-south. A line that runs exactly north-south is called a meridian. And that's why we call this arc a meridian arc. This arc has markings inscribed on it for every day of the year. As the sun passes the meridian, or that north-south line, in the sky, it shines through the hole in the foil that sits above the meridian arc. This movement across the meridian is called a transit. Depending on the time of year, the spot of sunlight will shine on a different part of the arc. At summer solstice, when the sun is highest in the sky, the spot of sunlight shines lower on the arc. In the winter, when the sun is lowest in the sky, the spot of sunlight shines higher on the arc. Today is special because we are not watching the sun. We are watching the transit of the major standstill moon. As Dr. Krupp described earlier, the major standstill moon is at a position that is more extreme than the winter solstice sun. That means that we'll see the spot of moonlight at the highest point on th of the meridian arc, higher than when the spot of sunlight shines for the winter solstice sun. Because the spot of light is outside the normal path of the sun, there are special markers on the meridian arc to indicate the moon's position. These marks, markers can only be illuminated in a two-year period of major standstills that comes around every 18.6 years. We are just minutes away from seeing the spot of moonlight on the meridian arc. We have three key camera angles that we'll be looking at tonight. The first one is looking north at the arc. The second is looking at the south at the top of the arc, the foil, and the moon. The last one is zoomed close on the top of the arc where the moon markers are. We leave you now to enjoy this event accompanied by music from our planned term shows.
Thank you.